So today we're going to show you how to make a foot rug or a foot mat made out of unwanted monk's robes. This is what the final product might look like. This is an old one from the Sangha office. And in order to do that, you need to get a bunch of these, these little rope things here. And as you can see in the light here, maybe you can see that it's, it's twisted, uh, it's twisted robes and it's made into um, sort of a, a knot, which is similar to the tags on my robe like this. So, so if you know how to make these, that's actually a broken one. If you know how to make these, then you know how to make one of these, except it's just a little longer. So that's what we'll show you today. So the, one of the first things we need are a robe string. As you can see, it's just a bunch of line. It's almost like rope, but it's made out of robe. This is an unwanted robe that I found uh, near the ordination hall. And I checked to make sure that it's unwanted. And what we can do is we can, we can take the outer perimeter you can see it's double stitched and it's uh, folded over and it has the border. So there's about, I don't know, maybe four layers of cloth. It's double stitched. And what we'll do is we'll cut a line right across here. And we will try to get a continuous piece around the whole perimeter. Probably we can get about maybe 300 inches or more of line. And we'll show you what that's for later. To get the rope, you can just take the edge and you can just start cutting like this, okay? And uh, when you're finished cutting the outside of the perimeter of the rope, you'll get some string. So we have uh, many string. This is the outer edge border. To, to make to make uh, some pieces like this, okay, we have to twirl, we have to twist the, the rope. So we cut the, the height of the rope. So you can go back and you can see. The height of the rope, not the width. The width is very, very long. But you can see that there's, I'm 5'9", I'm and this is the rope. So it's about maybe a handstand taller than me. So maybe 5'5 five, five or something like that. I'm sorry, 6'5. The width of this strip is about a handspan, again, about six inches or something like that. And when I cut, I didn't have to, you don't have to worry about being exact. Now, what we do is we hook a foot on the corner of the, of the piece that we cut. We just take a, our foot and then you can look at my hand here and then we can twist. You see I'm twisting, twisting, and twisting, and twisting. Now this will take some time to do by hand because we have a long piece. However, this was, this was my idea. We have a drill. If we take a drill and we, we take a drill and we, we clip the corner here, okay, like so. And make sure you hold the drill pointing downwards. If you point it upwards, it'll, it'll twist on, on the drill bit here. But if you point it downwards, it'll twist very nicely. This is just a clip. Maybe you could use a clothespin or something like that. Um, you can also do it by hand. I did many by hand. So we just we just put it there. And you can see it starts to get coil like a like coily. We don't want too many, but we want a few of them. 
So you see there's little kinks or coils or something like that. Then we're finished. And as you can see with the with the drill, it's quite easy. You see when I when I let go of the tension, it starts to twist on itself. That's exactly what we want, but we want to control that a little better. So what we do is we we step on it and we we make it in in uh, two parts, getting the center, and then and then what we do is we sort of guide it to twist on itself. It has that energy to twist on itself. And it'll lose its, its coil, coil tension as, as we let it untwist on itself. Then what we do is the ends are quite, quite loose. So come back down here. We're gonna, we're gonna twist and this will naturally braid itself while we twist it. It's already twisted, it's just that little extra that we want to make sure it has some tension here. Then we take some of our string and a scissors, we have them nearby. And then you just tie it off. It doesn't matter, you know, if you have lots of extra cord in your knot. You do want to save it though, because we're going to use the other part of the string to make our weaving pattern. So just tie it off with two overhand knots, like you would do on your shoes. But you do it twice and just snip it. And then you can see there's a little bit of a, a gap here, so we just work it and make sure that everything is in the right place, like it is, like it is now. So then we have our little braid here, and uh, we have a few of these. We want to get about 25 to 30 of these braids, and we'll make our rug this way. And these are actually not even, they're diff two different pieces of cloth. But we'll snip the other one, make it even, or we'll do something with it. And that's, that's it for, for now. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so oh. it's always good to do something wrong and then show you the wrong way. Before I showed you the wrong way, what I did was... I went like this and there was lots of slack while I was w winding. And if you wind and there's slack and it's not tight, what happens is the coils happen unevenly. So what you want to do is you want to stretch it and you want to have a friend hold it or you can put it on, under a chair. You, you can do, you can wind it while it's underneath a chair and you can wind it like this or you can use the drill. But the main thing is that you have tension. And you can have a friend wind in the other direction two and within just a few seconds 30 seconds or so you can you can finish this. Like then there's there's one more thing I want to show you after we finish so you wait for one or two kinks to, to show up and the less kinks you have yeah. the longer yeah. it the, the like tighter you wind it the shorter it'll be so now we're just about finished so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the ends here, okay? And without loosening start, start, start. the tension, we hook it on our foot, we take the two ends together, and then we just let it wind by itself. Before, I was guiding it, and that was also wrong. So we just let it go, okay? And then we'll end up with a nice, loose, uh, but nice and even braid here. And then we just tie it off. We can wind these two things. So what I did was I held it at the end and I let it coil up by itself. So this is a, this is a, a, nice, a nice braid. The other ones were not so even, um, but it's the first rug and it's good, to, it's good to experiment and know what you're doing. You could use the drill as well, but like I said, like you saw, it took only just 30 seconds to wind, especially if you have a friend to do it. Okay, that's enough.
He's putting nails in a piece of wood. He's putting nails in another piece of wood. And we're going to set up like a weaving machine. How many nails are there? Two, four, twelve. There's one dozen nails. So he twists my, my string and now he's, he's putting it in between the nails like so. So he's twisting it. And he puts it on. And he's going to just tie them all together. These are the pieces all ready to go lined up that we made. He's making sure it's tight now. So he put some pieces of wood to keep it from getting closer together. ไม่เลยเนี่ยตัวน้องก็ยอดอีกเนาะเออออล่ะนี่เอาเลยเนาะมาเลยเนาะนี่เลยเนาะน้องเลยจานี่ He's doing every every single one, every other one. Every other one? No, this is this is in every single one, right? So it's in every every single one. And then the next one. He also do you twist it? You he twists it. He's twisting it. He's twisting it and then he's putting it inside each one. So he's not weaving, he's, he's putting it in and then he's twisting. He's very quick. He's the master. Then he pushes it down. So you can see it's, it's twisted here. Like that. Then he grabs another one. He lined him up the way he wanted. Then he doesn't have, you don't need to do every other one now, right? You don't have to do every single one now. You can just do it. The first two you have to do every one. According to the master, he can do start to finish, he can do one rug per hour. I don't believe. So he's skipping a few. In the center you don't need, but the first two you need. So this doesn't even go inside the, the coils here, it just it just stays there. Weaved. He weaved this one. So some of these are weed, some of them go inside. So he's doing every other one. It should be noticed that the the ends are every other one. So one goes one way, the other one goes the other way. So the knots alternate.
Okay, you're on. So he just let it go by itself. The master is going to make another. This is another technique you have twisting. He's holding two people, two people doing. Okay, this is the last one. Yeah. You need ten more to finish. Need ten more? Ten more. So twenty four was not enough and we need to get maybe another twelve more, he said. So now he's uh, mixing, this is what we call CYC or polyester robes and we're mixing two by two because we're alternating is the each, each side. So we're alternating and so we have to do two by two, he's going to do four by, he's going to skip four over here, so it looked like some sort of pattern. Now he's doing um, the final few of them few braids and you'll see that he's going through every single one inside inside the loop you see because the outer braids need to be secure later we're going to tie them off so now we're, we're finished and we're ready to tie off everything. So this is our loom that we had before. So he's tying a knot or undying. So we took a strip of a strip of cloth. It doesn't have to be the double stitched part that I showed you. It's just any piece of cloth about one one and a half to two inches wide. And he's tying a knot right on the corner piece there. Be careful with your camera. <laughs> Hit the camera. <laughs> okay. So now he's doing what? What is he doing? He's tying them. He's pulling them together with a with a little over, a little overhand knot. Diamond. 
He's just pulling it through. What he did with the nail, don't worry about it. He's just resetting it, making sure it's stronger and holding it. It has nothing to do with <laughs> what you need to do. It was just a little loose. <laughs> So he's just pulling an overhand locking knot for each one. <laughs> he's going to do this on both sides. Make sure the last one goes through the loop. Those things go through the end loop. So he's nearly finished here, and you can see. Please move your hand. Yeah, uh, you can see here. This, these are the knots, and he's finishing the, the second to last knot. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so now he's going to do the other side, right? Yeah. Are we going to cut? We're going to cut, cut these parts here. So he's going to start on the other side. So you can see here. And he just, you know, tied it off at the very end over here. <laughs> and he's going to He's nearly finished tying the, the, final, the final knot on the other side. So you can see it's, it's twisted. It's tied. He's putting it through the loop. And then he's tying it with an overhand <laughs> locking knot. <laughs> like this, you can see. <laughs> and he's so there's quite a quite a few spectators here. And now it's the last one. This is the last one here. And then he's going to tie it off. Kaji. Kaji means scissors. Kaji. 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 These ties are not here. So now he's going to tie tie off each part of the loom with a double overhand. Maybe a triple. No, nope, just a double. So again, he cuts it right at the nail. He's going to do the other thing. I think the other side doesn't need it. There's a few more knots here. He cuts it on one side. And this is the final one here.
So now he just pulls up the nails. There's lots of, you see, you see all these little fuzzy things coming up? You see? Do you see? Maybe they're devas or something. No, 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 some small, small animal. Do you see? Small little. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So this is the finished product here. And then we're gonna we're gonna cut off the edges here. So anyway there's some extra. Could be better, but it's the first one, so it's good. So anywhere there's like extra stuff, you just trim, cut the hair. So he says that uh, need to cut the edge here, and then maybe retie them. So need to cut the ends to make it. To make it even. And there's no need to retie the ends because it's already tied over here. It's a full, full service demonstration for me. So this end is cut. He cut using a machete. We think that maybe a grinding wheel might work, or a razor blade, or a utility knife would work. We deserve overnight, overtime, overtime salary. So. So he had to. He had to bang it on the floor, and this is the finished product here. Having it cut. Can we cut? Can we shoot your face? Okay, this is the master. Yes. Sadu, sadu, sadu. Yeah. So it's his his invention. Did he invent it or did he get it from somewhere else? No, he invented. This is his invention, and I'm just documenting it. So, so. Andy's came on us. If you use his venerable camera master name.